published, 1453 EDT, the 19th of April 2018, updated, 2025 EDT, the 19th of April 2018 game show host Dale Winton, who was found dead at his home yesterday, had only moved in three weeks ago having traded his £2.6 million Regent's Park apartment for the leafy North London suburb of Whetstone. Winton, who had fought depression and hid a secret health battle that kept him off screen for four years, cashed in his central London home and moved to the £3,000 a month property in an affluent area of Barnet after his television career floundered. The TV star moved on March 23 after 17 years there and was renting the five-bedroom house nine miles away despite apparently living there alone, leaving some friends concerned he could have chosen to end his own life. Scroll down for video game show host Dale Winton, who was found dead at his home yesterday, had only moved in three weeks ago having traded his £2.6 million Regent's Park apartment for the leafy North London suburb of Whetstone. Winton, cashed in his central London home and moved to the five-bedroom, £3,000 a month property in an affluent area of Barnet, pictured he just didn't seem himself anymore, a source who had recently worked with Winton told the Sun. he'd battled depression, in the past but over the last few months it appeared to have really taken hold. he was quite erratic and could become very downbeat quickly, and a number of people who knew him were concerned, they added, the fears come as it was revealed that on the eve of his move he joked, if I died today no one would want all this old junk, referring to the memorabilia from his TV career. The star was found collapsed yesterday afternoon and Scotland Yard has ordered a post-mortem examination after his sudden death, but detectives are not treating it as suspicious. Lifelong friend and LBC DJ Steve Allen said he would hint at killing himself and had asked him repeatedly, do you think there'd be a turnout at the funeral? Please make sure everyone turns up. The TV star moved from the Regent's Park apartment on March 23 after 17 years there and was renting the five bedroom house nine miles away despite apparently living there alone. On the eve of his move, he joked, If I died today, no one would want all this old junk because he hoarded memorabilia from his TV career. Winton moved out of his Regent's Park flat three weeks ago, confirmed one local. The TV star moved on March 23 after 17 years there and was renting the five-bedroom house nine miles away despite apparently living there alone. His new home had large windows and plush furniture next door neighbor Evelyn Sauras, 68, said, Dale had only been living there about a month. He kept to himself. Occasionally I'd see him on his doorstep and he'd say hello but other than that I didn't see much of him. Yesterday there were four ambulances and a lot of police and I wondered what had happened. There was a tall blonde woman by his front door talking to a policeman, she might have been a relative. It wasn't until I saw the news that I realized Dale had died. It's a shame as he seemed a nice man, I recognized him from the television. Winton moved out of his Regent's Park flat three weeks ago, confirmed one local dot there was a for sale sign and then white removals vans. It was just at the start of the month, said Ian Grant, who manages the house opposite to where Winton lived. Lifelong friend and LBC DJ Steve Allen said he would hint at killing himself and had asked him repeatedly, Do you think there'd be a turnout at the funeral? Please make sure everyone turns up. One of the five bedrooms in his newly rented property, the star was found collapsed yesterday afternoon and Scotland Yard has ordered a post-mortem examination after his sudden death, but detectives are not treating it as suspicious, Winton's kitchen in his newly rented property he was always very pleasant, saying hello in the street, no matter what time of day, added the 84-year-old Dottie had a Range Rover and a Bentley parked outside with personal DW number plates. He had been there for years. At least 17 years. You could always tell when he was in, because he had such a loud voice. He didn't particularly have parties or lots of people over though. I'll always remember him as a very pleasant man, and I'm just sorry I didn't get to say goodbye.
more former neighbours of Winton in central London have paid their tributes to the TV star. I saw him a few weeks ago, said a woman who lives on York Terrace East and declined to be identified. He was delightful, always very kind, but he hadn't been the same since Scylla, Black, died. Since then, he spent a lot more time in Florida. A man who lives opposite Winton's former residence said, he was a very nice man. Very agreeable and cheerful. He always gave me a big hello on the street. He was very neighborly. A bouquet of white roses lay on the doorstep of Winton's old house with a card that said, The kindest man I knew, always in my heart. It was signed Go Go, Winton's kitchen and dining area in his newly rented property. A bouquet of white roses lay on the doorstep of Winton's old house with a card that said, The kindest man I knew, always in my heart. It was signed Go Go. In a moving tribute to his friend David Walliams tweeted today, Dale was the best company, always outrageous and hilarious. He adored being in show business and loved meeting fans. He devoted his life to making everyone else happy. His friends, the public and his godsons, even though he found it hard to be happy himself, I pray he has found peace. Walliams, Winton's closest friend, said today, he found it hard to be happy himself. I pray he has found peace. Williams, who spoke openly about his battle with depression two years ago, recalled some of his favorite memories of Winton, in a series of tweets accompanied by his favorite pictures of the star. Williams wrote, Dale was the best company, always outrageous and hilarious. He adored being in show business and loved meeting fans. Dale Winton used his final TV interview in June 2016 to admit he couldn't find love because nobody wants a camp, over 60 year old like him or night Dale and I were going out to dinner and he stopped off on the way to buy diet lemonade from a corner shop. He was in there about 20 minutes. When he finally got back in the car I asked what took you so long? And he said sorry David the first am very big with the Indian community apostrophe. One afternoon Dale and I were out shopping and some policemen were standing on the street corner. He gave them a huge wave and called out hello loves, hello darlings. I asked why he was saying hello, he replied always wave at policeman David. You never know when you might need one. Dale's ideal man was Omid Jalili. One night Dale was driving me home from dinner when a big group of lads from Newcastle on a stag night saw him and shouted Dale. Dale turned to me and said it is such a shame you are here or I would have them all straight back at my house with their trousers around their ankles. In June 2016, two months before he was last seen in public, he said. I would not leave the house for five years. I didn't want to put one foot in front of the other outside the house. I had a bad breakup and I had health issues and I thought, I want to withdraw apostrophe. A year earlier he failed to make it to his close friend Scylla Black's funeral, sparking concerns about his health, and had undergone four operations in four years to fix crippling pain in his knees and shoulders. Speaking in his final TV interview in 2016 he revealed he could not meet anyone to spend his life because he spent too much time chasing mean and nasty men. He said, nobody wants a camp, over 60 year old man. I can't go on dating sites. I'm quite well known so the minute you see the picture it's desperately unattractive to another gay man to find a guy in show business on there. He added, it's time I went from troubled boys to nice guys. Winton died at this £1 million home in Whetstone in North London just three weeks after moving there from his central London flat. His Land Rover remains on the drive. Winton failed to make it to his close friend Scylla Black's funeral in 2015, sparking concerns about his health and he later admitted he couldn't leave the house his friend of 50 years. LBC DJ Steve Allen, said today, he didn't like the aging process, he hated it. He used to say to me I've had enough, I feel happy for him that he's in a place now where he's probably going to be eternally young. Apostrophe. Mr. Allen also revealed Winton would hint at killing himself because of his medical problems, emotional problems and insecurities and had asked him repeatedly, do you think there'd be a turnout at the funeral? Please make sure everyone turns up.
Dale Winton never got over finding his mother, together when they were three, dead after her suicide when he was and he also deeply regretted not telling the Thunderball actress he was gay when he had the chance he added, deep down he was a bit lonely. He needed a partner. He has had some bad picks. In the 2016 Loose Women interview Winton admitted he was too depressed to leave the house after a messy breakup with another man but never revealed publicly who he was dating. He said, it, depression, was triggered by a very bad breakup. God, I can't half pick them apostrophe dot people are amazed at my taste. I like them if they've not got a tooth in their head, tattoos, the lot. If they've got emotional problems, sign me up. If there's a man over 45 with a beard I'm there. Neighbors have said that Winton wasn't quite right and he did not look that great before his death and police and paramedics were called to his home at 4.10 p.m. yesterday after he was found dead inside. Only child. Dale's happy childhood ended when his father Gary collapsed and died on the day of his bar mitzvah when he was 13 and he came home aged 21 to find his mother Sheree had killed herself with a drug overdose in her bedroom. His own sudden death yesterday came just a month before his 63rd birthday and the 41st anniversary of his actress mother's suicide, which he admitted he never got over apostrophe. Winton started his career in local radio and had little work for eight years until he spent nearly a decade hosting Supermarket Sweep before fronting the National Lottery Show in it to win it on BBC One for 14 years and the pick of the Pops show on BBC Radio 2 for 10 years. But the star, known for his sunny disposition, bright smile and tan, disappeared from public life two years ago admitting he wouldn't leave the house because of depression and regrets that he had failed to admit he was gay until he was 45. A year earlier he failed to make it to his close friend Scylla Black's funeral, sparking concerns about his health, and had undergone four operations in four years to fix crippling pain in his knees and shoulders. But this year he relaunched his career with a U.S. travel show on Channel 5 called Dale's Florida Fly Drive. The final episodes will now be shown at an appropriate time in the future. In his 2002 autobiography he came out as gay but revealed his regret at not telling his mother before her death saying in 2008 that nobody had really ever asked him about his sexual orientation. This year he had relaunched his TV career with a new Channel 5 show Dale's Florida Fly Drive but he died before the series was shown in full. His friend Davina McCall led the tributes last night as she described him as a lovely, warm, kind, sensitive, generous soul with a touch of naughty. This year he had relaunched his TV career with a new Channel 5 show Dale's Florida Fly Drive pictured, but he died before the series was shown in full TV star Dale Winton has died at the age of 62 at his London home, pictured in his last public appearance in July 2016 with friend David Walliams, and right a month later flowers for the kindest man I know were left on his doorstep today by a friend nicknamed Gogo -Go by the star Dale Winton, pictured at the 2003 British Soap Awards, died suddenly at his London flat. His agent has revealed and police are now investigating Winton left his Marylebone flat, pictured today, three weeks ago after selling it for £2.6 million but died on Wednesday at the age of 62 in his new rented home in North London, right, David Walliams, who Winton counted among his closest friends has given both tragic and hilarious insights into his life and personality speaking on ITV's Loose Women panel in June 2016, Winton opened up about his secret battle with depression. He was unable to attend his close friend Scylla Black's funeral which sparked major concern about his welfare. He admitted his mental health had declined to such an extent he found it difficult to put one foot in front of the other. Dale Winton had appeared on The Loose Women in 2016, where he opened up about his battle with depression part of his problems concerned a difficult breakup. He told the panel, I had a very bad year, I should have taken myself off the TV but I did an apostrophe T. There are worse things in the world, but I had the health issues and the depression. My mum died. I did not want to put one foot in front of the other outside the house, I would not leave the house. Five years I went through it. 
I wanted to withdraw, if you've never had it, you'll never understand it. His confidence took a blow during the series in it to win it when people commented he doesn't look well. I pray he has found peace. David Walliams leads tributes to Dale Winton, who lost both his parents early in life and battled with depression, as sensitive soul with a touch of naughty dies aged 62 David Walliams says he prays his friend Dale Winton has found peace after the troubled TV star's death yesterday. The supermarket sweep and national lottery presenter died aged 62 at his home in North London, two years after he revealed he was battling depression. Police are investigating the circumstances of his unexplained death, but say it is not being treated as suspicious. Winton had a difficult childhood with his parents divorcing when he was 10. His father died on the day of his bar mitzvah. Just days after his 21st birthday, Winton found the body of his mother, who had depression and died after taking an overdose, leaving a do not disturb sign on her bedroom door. Close friend Walliams wrote online. He devoted his life to making everyone else happy. Even though he found it hard to be happy himself, I pray he has found peace. David Walliams has led celebrity tributes to his close friend, daytime TV legend David Walliams. Walliams recalled a series of hilarious episodes from times he spent with Winton. Walliams also shared some of his favorite photos of Winton with his Twitter followers. Little Britain star Walliams also recalled some of his favorite memories of Winton, in a series of tweets accompanied by his favorite pictures of the star. Walliams wrote, Dale was the best company, always outrageous and hilarious. He adored being in show business and loved meeting fans. One night Dale and I were going out to dinner and he stopped off on the way to buy diet lemonade from a corner shop. He was in there about 20 minutes. When he finally got back in the car, I asked what took you so long? And he said sorry David the first am very big with the Indian community apostrophe. One afternoon Dale and I were out shopping and some policemen were standing on the street corner. He gave them a huge wave and called out hello loves, hello darlings. I asked why he was saying hello, he replied always wave at policeman David. You never know when you might need one. Dale's ideal man was Omid Jalili. One night Dale was driving me home from dinner when a big group of lads from Newcastle on a stag night saw him and shouted Dale. Dale turned to me and said it is such a shame you are here or I would have them all straight back at my house with their trousers around their ankles. The supermarket sweep host passed away at his home earlier on Wednesday the star's agent announced the TV favorite had died at his home earlier on Wednesday. His long-term agent Jan Kennedy announced in a statement to the Press Association, It is with great sadness that we can confirm the passing of Dale Winton who died at home earlier today. While we know many will share this terrible loss, we ask that you respect the family's privacy at this time of grief. No further details were announced. Concerns had been raised for Winton's welfare after he missed Cilla Black's funeral in 2015. Appearing on Loose Women in 2016, he revealed he had been going through a secret battle with depression after a difficult breakup. He added, Money wasn't the main thing. It was the series of In It to Win It that we were filming, and we had three episodes to go, but people were saying, he doesn't look well. Apostrophe. I had a very bad year. I should have taken myself off the TV. Five years I went through it. I wanted to withdraw. If you've never had it, you'll never understand it. It was triggered by a very bad breakup. God, I can't half pick him. People are amazed at my taste. Leading the tribute, Davina McCall led tributes to Dale Winton on Wednesday. Following the shocking news of his death at the age of 62, pictured together in September 2005 Davina McCall was among some of TV's most famous faces who paid tribute to Winton Dale Winton meeting with Queen Elizabeth II at the Royal Variety performance in 2001 Dale Winton with Cilia Black in 2009. Winton described her as one of his dearest friends Dale's family album, unseen photos offer a glimpse into TV host Winton's childhood with his beloved mother and father these unseen family photos show Dale Winton before he was famous, including heartwarming snaps of him with his glamorous actress mother who committed suicide, 
One photo shows him in London's Cumberland Hotel in 1959, sitting between his doting mum Cherie and father Gary enjoying a Christmas meal. The chubby four-year-old is holding his tragic mother's hand while they all smile and pose wearing silly hats for the hotel photographer. Others show him at the wedding of his cousin Amanda Shale in 1984. Winton accompanied his aunt Hazel, Amanda's mother, down the aisle, because her husband Harry had died just before the wedding. Paying tribute Amanda, 57, said today said. I remember when he came to tell me that he had this new job on a program called Supermarket Sweep. We were close before that. Things really took off from them and he worked very hard and we didn't see as much of each other. He was a very generous and genuine person. There are only positive things to say. I don't know what his cause of death was. A young and happy Dale Winton, aged three, with his parents Gary and Cherie Winton before his life was touched by tragedy Winton spending Christmas at the Cumberland Hotel in 1959 with his doting mum, Cherie and father as a happy four-year-old Winton aged five, in October 1960, is front and centre in this family photo with his parents, centre, and other relatives Winton gives his cousin Amanda Shale a kiss on her wedding day in 1984. Mrs. Shale has been left shocked by his sudden death Winton accompanied his aunt Hazel, Amanda's mother, down the aisle, because her husband Harry had died just before the wedding. Dale Winton, far right, seen at the wedding of his cousin Amanda in 1984 Dale Winton pictured in his early radio days on Radio Trenton Nottingham in around 1985.